Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, my social thread, my name's Crystal and welcome. Uh, today is my May sewing plans vlog where I will be going through uh, my sewing plans for May. Uh, so first of all what I'm wearing is just the chalk and notch fringe dress in a just a navy uh, floral crepe um, and this is the, I do actually have the pattern here, this is the one with the sleeve tabs, a uh, button placket at the front um, and sort of um, a short bodice here um, and it is loose fitted with buttons, uh, with buttons, sorry, with pockets and you can obviously add a belt if you want to to cinch in the waist um, and that's what I'm wearing. So my first plan for the month of May is something that I need to start this week in fact, so it's my blogger um, bear with me, it's my blogger um, package from Jenny Stitches Fabrics. So I am a brand ambassador slash blogger for Jenny Stitches and she has provided me with the fabric notions and pattern to do my first project um, for free uh, in return for an honest blog post and review of her fabrics and pattern. So the pattern that I have chosen is the by hand London Hannah dress and it is a beautiful wrap dress um, apparently it's quite clever that you don't get a gape uh, here at the V and then it's got um, let me just show you the front it's got um, a breast uh, what are these called bust starts waist starts and it's got a tie that goes all the way you've got the options of some flutter sleeves some bishop sleeves with elasticated cuff or some um, just normal normal short sleeves the length obviously you can adjust that to your liking and it, you can also do it into make it into a blouse sorry that was the other sleeve it's like a tulip sleeve which is actually quite nice I am going to go for this uh, length here just probably below the knee with the long bishop sleeves and I'm going to have a tie here this fabric this pattern goes from a UK 6 with a bust of 32 inches and a waist of 25 inches all the way up to a UK uh, 24 which is a bust of 51 inches and a waist of 44 inches so that's that one by hand London so I get the uh, the pattern for that um, and then the booklet I've not actually bought a, um, a by hand London a paper pattern before I have bought um, PDF patterns um, oh wow look at this booklet and it's so thick um, oh, when it's got the little sewing machine so presumably this is an easy an easy pattern to make and just the look it's just beautifully it's actually very very comprehensive I don't know why it's so so much instructions for a, for a wrap dress um, but there you go all beautiful instructions in there uh, and the fabric that I have chosen for that is this lovely, I think they've called it Pretty in Pink Viscose. I've got three metres of it and it's basically a lovely pink background viscose with some lovely burgundy uh, leaves and orange and blue flowers. Beautifully drapey. Um, Guthrie and Garney, I think they had their Sil Sylvia robe or Sylvia... Um, what do they call it like a kaftan pullover thing uh, in this fabric also the winner of one of the sewing bees Juliet I believe is Uzer um, she's just released a book um, on Amazon um, and other places and she has this fabric as one of her sample pieces that she's wearing so that's the fabric I've chosen and to go with that I have got some satin burgundy satin bias binding double face bias binding so that's going to go presumably all the way so from the um, the hem of this skirt all the way up all the way around the neckline all the way around all the way back down and I'm also going to use it as the tie here at the waist and um, just do some fake ties at the wrist I assume that's elasticated um, and I just do some fake ties at the wrist did I get elastic no I didn't get elastic so it must not be elasticated but and then I've got the matching thread for that as well so today is Monday and I want to get this done this week. So Monday to Friday is earmarked to make this dress. Uh, the second item I am going to make uh, for this month is the Stylark Bell dress. And I'll pop up a picture. 
Uh, this is a collaboration and make that I'm doing um, with Sarah Bailey of Super Bales on Instagram. She is the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra cover model. And I met her actually um, because she is um, part of the blogging team for Jenny Stitches as well. So I met her through that. I also have interviewed her. If you look on my channel, there is a lovely interview with Sarah. She's super funny, super talented, if you'd like to check that out. So that dress is actually very similar to, oh, bear with me, another dress that I had, which is, I don't have it now. It's like a super popular dress. Um, but I just think that the fit of the Stylark one um, is just probably a lot nicer uh, for me. And the fabric I have chosen for that is a viscose chalet from Lady McElroy in their hydrangea print. They also do this in sort of a black background with green and white flowers, hydrangeas. So this is sort of like a corally pink background with orange flowers and different tones of green. So it's beautifully drapey. A lovely colour. I'm very much into pinks and burgundies and actually greens recently. I quite like greens, but that's that fabric there. Um, and I'm hoping to make that up. So either the Hannah dress, by Hannah London Hannah dress, or this Stylark Bell dress is going to be the dress that I'm going to wear to my brother in law's wedding at the end of the month. So hopefully I'll get that done. Um, also, um, a little bit of sewing news. I have been chosen by Nicola of Little Miss So-and-So. I'll pop up their logo here to be one of their brand ambassadors, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, I will be receiving one of her all set to sew kits this month. I haven't yet chosen which one I'm going to get and which fabric I'm going to use. But I will choose that and that will be arriving this month and I will be making it up this month. So I have included it in this plans video, although I don't have the fabric and the pattern to hand. Um, just a general gist of what I'm doing for them is basically they do have quite a few subscription uh, kits or subscription boxes. Uh, one of them is the quilting and patchworking subscription box, which my, which my 11 year old Sienna subscribes to. They also have children's kits um, in subscription form. And the one that I am going to um, sort of um, advertise for them um, will be their all set to sew kits. And basically there's two tiers. There's like a luxury tier, which I believe is £65. And then there's sort of the normal tier, which is I think £35. So it's very similar to most luxury boxes like So Haley Jane, I believe is 65 for the luxury and 35 for their classic box. Um, but this one differs um, and it's actually really, really cool. So basically every month, if you subscribe every month, you get a choice of a knit kit, which is a stretch pattern and kit or a woven pattern and kit uh, so you get to choose woven or knit and then once you've chosen your kit and um, there, there will be two options basically a woven kit and a stretch kit so you choose one of those and then once you've chosen one of those you get a choice to choose a fabric um, or you can opt for them to choose your fabric so it's a bit of a surprise then you get everything all the notions patterns everything beautifully boxed up and sent to you so this works as a subscription, a rolling subscription, which is really, really nice. Um, on the other hand, you can also buy the kits separately as a one-off as well if you wanted to. Um, and I will hopefully, when I receive my um, package, I will obviously share that all with you. The next thing I will be doing um, this uh, month will be helping my 11-year-old Sienna and my 7-year-old Anya to do their patchworking, uh, their quilt, uh, which again was part of the Little Miss So-and-So um, patchworking subscription kit um, using their fabric for Sienna. And um, with Anya, I'm doing the same quilting blocks with them. But uh, do I have it? Bear with me. Oh, I do have it here. I'm doing the same quilting blocks with them, uh, but I'm using uh, fat quarters from my so Hayley Jane boxes and my Stitch and Ink subscription boxes. So just quickly to show you, I have shown this as well on my Friday vlogs, but my 11 year old Sienna has done this block. So this is block number one, level one of the subscription kit. And these are all Lewis and Irene designer fat eighth fabric. So that's her first block and her second block is this one over here. 
and basically the subscription kit includes lots of tutorials and videos on how to make up these blocks uh, tips on how to cut fabric how to quilt the materials you need and it looks very very simple but actually it requires a lot of accuracy and a lot of know-how and actually step-by-step -step guidance on how to piece them together so that your seams obviously so that it, you get a perfect uh, 12 and a half square block at the end of it and your seams are actually um ironed the right way so they all interconnect together beautifully and then my seven-year-old Anya uh, decided she wanted to do it as well but we didn't have enough fabric from the subscription box th because that's only meant for one block each so we've used our so Haley chain and our stitch and ink fabrics but we've done the same blocks peter rabbit fabric so i'm planning to do that with my two girls that would probably take me per well actually we'll be doing one block each this month we were behind last month that's why we did two so but basically for that i would probably do maybe a couple of evenings with the girls for that um the next thing i wanted to do was to do another fringe dress actually i'm like pronouncing my shush, shush very badly today the chalk and notch fringe dress which is this one here you can't really see it very well there but it's the dress that i'm wearing now it's got like a curved hem it's got cuffs here v-neck button placket and then a gathered skirt um so i want to make this um with my linen viscose from my so Haley jane box last month's so Haley jane box and it's like i said I, I am liking greens at the moment but it's um a beautiful green color and it's a viscose linen which is lovely so linen because it's just beautiful and fresh you get that slub texture and cool and then viscose for that drape so i'm going to make a fringe dress in that um, and i'm going to use my page joanna pigeon wishes buttons which i got from my stitch and ink subscription box and together i think they look really really nice so this time round with my fringe dress I think I'm going to lower the waist by an inch maybe two inches because it is quite high I think it's maybe sitting just a little bit higher than my natural waist so I want to lower that a bit um, and I've made that dress several times before so it's already cut out and that's all ready to go the other thing I needed to do or wanted to do was that hoodie that I made for my godson um i've just got it over here this hoodie here as i mentioned to you before um it does fit him but it is quite long in the body and long in the arm so i do need to cut a good two inches off the arms a good two inches off the body and reattach the bands but as you can see this uh, band is a different color mustard to this and that has been annoying me so what i'm going to do instead of using rib um for the bands and the cuffs i'm just going to use the same sweatshirting fabric to do that so then you've got the same color Match. and also it's a good stretch so it would work it will work quite well for that um and then the last thing if i do have time i would like to make up the sage brush top top the sage brush top top and again this was coincidentally a kit that i bought from or my daughter bought for me as part of my mother's day gift from little miss so and so and this is before i even knew that i was a brand ambassador and it's um you get the pattern friday pattern company sage brush top and um you get like a so it's like the beautiful puffy big sleeves which is so in at the moment it's a loose fitting top a ruffle at the front a back yoke and a little tie at the back um you get the elastic with it as well presumably that's for the sleeves uh matching thread which gives you an idea of the fabric that i've got and i chose so with them they're all set to sew kits like i say um you can choose a base a fabric base so for this particular top you could choose between a cotton lawn or a double gauze and then when you go to click on the double gauze you've got all the double gauzes that you can choose from likewise cotton lawn you can choose all of the the um from all of their cotton lawn ranges and what you do is when you add it into your basket in the comments you just specify what fabric base you want and what print you want and i went for the beautiful atelier brunette um ochre um i think is it called stardust or something i'm not sure um but they're Atelier Brunette double gauze fabric in the ochre. And if I can just, I'll open it up for you. I've not bought from Atelier Brunette before because it is quite expensive being a designer fabric. But I believe this kit was just £35 for everything. So double gauze is basically two pieces of cotton fabric uh, layered on top of each other. I don't know if you can see it's two pieces of fabric laid on top of each other and they're joined uh, this time by all these sort of metallic gold embroidered um spots 
and I think that would look really quite really nice oh my color um, and I get I don't know how much I get but enough to make the fabric in the bigger size that's what they provide so I'm hoping to get that done um, if I have enough time and that's it so basically May and June I have said in my previous vlogs that I am going to try and cut down in terms of how much I am sewing uh, because, um, as I said before, uh, sewing is my hobby. I am passionate about it, but I do have eight beautiful children and a wonderful husband that gets uh, put to the wayside when I am sewing. So I am going to try and carve out a lot more time for them during my spare time rather than using all my spare time sewing. Also with the vlogging, um, I am, to be fair, I say I'm cutting down. I am going to aim for sort of one garment a week uh, which is very doable and I will still have free time to spend with the children and such um, and if it's a baby item or if it's like a top maybe I could squeeze another small one in also I am doing the patchwork stuff with my daughter so that's kind of family time as well um, and the last thing is um, my two elder children are doing their GCSEs this May and June so I will be helping them revise because I quite like to do that just to give them the boost that they need hopefully want from their mum I'm not sure um, so in the meantime um, yes I will keep you updated so vlogs are all coming out I've had my April makes vlog last week i have had um kaylee from florita's interview fabric store that was released today and then this video hopefully will be released at some point this week and then another friday vlogs on friday in the meantime if you are liking my content please do consider liking and subscribing thank you to all my viewers and subscribers i think i am currently on maybe 1100 subscribers which is super super amazing also um, on my Instagram page I think I'm up to about 850 followers which is amazing uh, and just to quickly say uh, selfless so April was a huge success selfless so April 22 with the help of Adele from sofa serenity and Claire from stitch hem so there were more than 500 entries and um, we had like 59 prizes from some amazing sponsors um, like £40 fabric voucher from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. We had Elephant in My Handbag offering any pattern and any fabric um, that the winner chooses, which is amazing. We had Fleurators, um, fabric vouchers. We had um, Sew Essential. We had Sew Over It, The Fold Line, Ellie and Mac, Waves and Wild. So thank you, thank you so much to all the lovely sponsors. Also, thank you to everybody that entered into the competition, into the challenge. We had some amazing makes. And if you'd like to find out who the winners are, um, they are all posted on my Instagram page page um, and the prizes that they've won so it's nice to sort of see what they've won and also towards the end um, so we basically had categories and once we'd given first second and third place for the categories which was adult wear children's wear 2 to 16 children's wear 0 to 2 pets and accessories the remainder of the prizes uh, were put into a a random draw and then the rest of the entries were chosen at random and some lovely uh, prizes were given out as well so thank you so much for that and we'll hopefully see you again next year for the selfless so april 23 um so there you go uh, thank you so much for watching and that's all for my may plans um if you do like to, uh, to ask me any questions please comment below or contact me on instagram via via instagram at my social thread i also have a d stash page my social thread underscore d stash if you're after some bargain fabric there are some designer fabrics on there as well from lady mcelroy at a bargain price if you fancy that in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time thank you bye bye lastly i just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody that has uh, recently purchased from my d stash page i think i've sold about 30 meters of fabric which is amazing um i will pop up a picture of the parcels uh, most of them have received them by now i think i believe um and also i'll post up a picture of what my sewing room looked like um whilst i was de-stashing and it's a complete mess um at the moment i have managed to make some space for some well anyway my my stash has been sort of dented a little bit uh, so that's quite nice in terms of the fabric that i wasn't using and that had been pre-loved um and given away and it's just gone to a lot to the fabrics have gone to lovely new homes 
with regards to the de-stashing i think it's a great way uh, to turn your fabric into money um if that's something you want to do with your own stash um i haven't made any profit unfortunately with the um with the de-stashing um but my view is that the money that i lost um from the fabric i see it as my sort of rental money um for the time that i owned a fabric for the time that i loved it and looked at it and put it in my stash so there's no there's no love lost in that regards um but yeah thank you so much for everybody that's purchased and um, there is still some lovely fabrics on there if you'd like to have a look my social thread underscore d stash on instagram thank you again bye bye